A dental nurse says she experienced the worst pain of her life after she broke her back at a trampoline park. Lucy Jones, 19, joined three friends for the post-Christmas get-together at Flip Out Chester, which describes itself as the world's biggest and best trampoline theme park, last January. Ms Jones, of North Up, Flintshire, North Wales, who now plans to sue the park for negligence and breach of statutory duty, claims she was injured jumping from the four-metre tower jump into a foam pit. Three other people also claimed to have broken their backs on the jump. SH he said, as I screamed in agony, my friends rushed over to help me. I landed in a seating position, as we'd been told to do. But when I landed, I felt the worst pain I have ever been through in my whole life. For a while, I couldn't breathe or feel anything, she said. Ms Jones had gone to the park with her friends Robin, Sophie, and Kira. Ms Jones said, We decided to have a bit of a night out after Christmas. We saw the trampoline park advertised on Facebook and decided it would be a fun thing for us to do. We had some food at McDonald's beforehand and headed in for our 6 p.m. slot. After putting the special socks on, designed to increase grip on the trampolines, and watching the health and safety video, we entered the trampoline area. They then headed for the 4 meter tower jump. SH he said, My friend Kira went first. She was really up for it, while I felt quite nervous. I suffer with anxiety, so I actually saw the jump as a bit of a challenge for myself to prove to myself that I could do it. I was feeling a bit scared, but I was also completely determined to do it for me. But when Ms. Jones landed in the foam pit after her jump, she claims she could not feel her legs and was left screaming in agony. She says a member of the flip out staff rushed over and asked her what was wrong. I said I couldn't feel my legs and he called another member of staff to see me, Ms. Jones said. All the while I was screaming in agony, but they said I would need to get out of the foam pit, something I knew I couldn't do on my own. Then, without any warning, two members of staff grabbed me by the arms and dragged me out of the pit onto a mat. I was slumped on the mat, in complete agony. But because no one seemed to be taking me seriously, I really questioned if I was being overdramatic by screaming the place down. Desperate for an ambulance to be called, Ms. Jones alleges staff refused to dial 999, saying her injuries were just bruising, but her friend called an ambulance instead. I was begging to go to hospital. I felt like my left leg was paralyzed, as I just couldn't move it, she said. Eventually, an hour and a half after the jump, she was taken by ambulance to the Countess of Chester Hospital. My friends rang my parents and they met me at the hospital. I'd been given gas and air at this point, so was in less agony. An X-ray revealed a fractured vertebra in her spine, a broken back, and Ms. Jones was told she would need to be transferred to the spinal service at the Walton Center in Liverpool. She said, Mum and I burst into tears. I was absolutely terrified. The only thing I could think was, will I ever walk again? I couldn't believe a girl's evening at it turned into such a nightmare. The next morning, Ms. Jones had a five-hour operation to fit rods into her back, enabling it to heal. When I got out of surgery and came to, that's when everything hit me. It shouldn't have happened, and I shouldn't be in this position, she said.
Ms Jones was eventually discharged from hospital after five days of rehabilitation That was probably the hardest time for me. I was trying to be positive, but I was basically housebound for four months, she said. I became depressed and started thinking about how unfair it was what had happened to me. It shouldn't have happened, I shouldn't have broken my back. As a result, the day Ms. Jones returned from hospital, she contacted law firm Linda Myers and is about to start legal proceedings against Flip at Chester. The claim form, which starts the action, is set to be issued later this month. Just 18 at the time of the accident, she claims she has missed out on normal activities like clubbing in high heels with friends. She continued, when I landed after my jump, I could barely even talk except to say I didn't think I could get up. I was an 18-year-old girl at the time and had so much of my life ahead of me. I just started my dream job of being a dental nurse and there was so much I wanted to do. Even just going out with my friends and wearing high heels, but instead I faced a long recovery needing constant physiotherapy. Ms. Jones' lawyer Mark Howard, a firm Linda Myers, said, When I was instructed by Lucy, I looked into to flip out Chester, and it was clear Lucy's accident was one of a series of a serious incidents which indicates there may be significant issues with the design of the landing areas at flip out. In light of her imminent legal action, a spokesperson for Flip Out UK, which launched in 2012 and has 20 centres, said they have replaced the tower jump with a new battle beam attraction, adding, millions of people have visited Flip Out trampoline and adventure parks across the UK and we are proud of our safety record. Safety is our number one priority and we strive to ensure that everyone who visits can enjoy all of the activities in a safe environment. We have been advised by our legal team that it is inappropriate to comment about this particular case at this time. Cheshire West and Chester Council has launched an investigation into the park. Ambulances were called out 760 times last year to 68 trampoline parks across the UK. Ms. Jones is going to Tanzania to volunteer as a dental nurse. Donate. Click here.